Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So you might notice uh, behind us it looks like an RV park. That's correct, because we are here at an actual meetup. We'll explain more of that a little later in the video. Look at all the Class B vans and the uh, kind of Class B, technically Class C, but they call it a B plus. Well, we we're going to show you guys the uh, agenda. Uh, Muna was rolling around looking okay. cute. Now she wants to go outside. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let's grab that agenda and show you. All right. So if you guys uh, follow Scott, go small or large, you might recognize that van right there. That's his van, Lily. So this is actually uh, Sunshine State with Scott, Go Small, Live Large, and Stranger Palooza. We got a whole uh, schedule here for this evening. Look at that. And we're actually gonna be uh, letting people go in and tour uh, the Echo and some other people, hoping to AE on RV. <laughs> uh, we'll also let people go in so we could get that video for you guys. Uh, it'll be in this video if he allows us to race his AE on RV. It's the first one we've seen. So interesting. It's kind of like the uh, a little bit more expensive, a little bit more complex version of the Echo. But the shower is a lot different. Yeah, so you'll see that uh, if, we, if we can get in there. So look at all the uh, Travados. We got a Patriot over there. There's Scott's Travado, all wrapped looking cool. Get a Sanctuary. Another Travado. We had a whole bunch of YouTubers here today, so there's actually going to be other people with cameras out, which is kind of cool because we're used to just kind of being the only ones with a camera. Yeah, because right here, uh, we don't know him, but Overland Citrus, you can check out his channel. He's got a pretty awesome sanctuary all rigged up with lights and what we're doing actually to ours. And then uh, over here, of course, Scott, Go Small, Live Large. And then right over here is Stranger Palooza. So you'll be able to check out uh, their channels and stuff. But we're walking over to the pavilion now for the uh, get together. So, what does it mean if someone has like a pink squeegee thing? Yeah. <laughs> What's up, Wednesday? So we are here obviously with everybody and pretty cool thing going down. It's What's Up Wednesday for Scott. We're doing it live here. So let me pan around so you can check this out. There they are. There's Hank, Stranger Palooza, Nick from Sunshine State, and Scott from Go Small, Live Large. It's not about the money, it's about the customer service. It's about serving the customer, doing whatever we can to make sure that, that we are we're worth putting your trust in. You know, everybody who's bought an RV from us trusts us with a lot of money. And, and so we want to make sure they... So we're done with the, the live panel, and now we're actually doing a bourbon tasting with everybody. He's doing a bourbon tasting. <laughs> well, I am. So we got a little tasting sheet here, and uh, we'll give it a whirl, and then we're probably going to go relax, finish a TV show that we started. <laughs> no series. Called it C. If you're not watching it, we recommend it as Jason Momoa. It's lovely. But now time for some bourbon. Well, good morning. Everybody is actually already heading out of this little Van Bury event already. They were nice and had some Panera coffee and bagels and pastries this morning. And they kind of had a little send off and everyone's already zoomed out of here. And it's, you know, a little before 1030. So we are actually taking advantage of having the hookups and Neil is filling up our water right now. And then we will be heading out too always the amazing husband filling up our water for us <laughs> and somebody left trash oh i guess we're picking up trash too <laughs> <laughs> what's happening Somebody's in my seat. 
So anybody, if you are in Green Cove Springs, Florida, you need to stop at Spring Park Coffee. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. Are you even surprised that we have coffee right now? Mine's maple and white chocolate. Drop it below in the comments if you've ever had that combination, because I have not. But Neil immediately said his is better than mine. It's peppermint. Peppermint patty. Basically a peppermint mocha, which is basically our go-to, but <laughs> maple, it's where it's at, people. It's where it's at. Back at it again, installing different lights on our Winnebago Echo. So, place an order with Amazon and got in these red LED pod lights from Nylite. I'll have the link down in the description for those. And also these magnetic mounts. So be able to mount these on the hood like I did on our old van. So because I put in that switch panel, I just need to cut this wire and this will get wired directly into that uh, switch assembly underneath the hood of the rig. And then I just have to put the uh, little quick connects that go into here on the lights themselves and I'll get them ran. Having that uh, switch uh, panel, the switch assembly underneath the hood go into the switch panel that I can put eight devices on makes it much easier for installs from this point forward because all I have to do is put in a positive and negative into that switch assembly. Good to go. Mm -hmm. Well, got those uh, connectors all attached. As you guys had seen, I uh, <laughs> messed up, forgot to put my uh, heat shrink sleeves on there, on one of them, but luckily I hadn't crimped it all the way down yet. Just luckily I was able to pull it out, put it on, put it back uh, into the connector, and we are good to go. So now I'm gonna go uh, over to the heat gun, shrink those uh, that heat shrink around that, and it'll be good to go, almost there. And there we go. They are all done. And I actually do throw some electrical tape on right here too. I'm kind of, I go overkill, but you know what it is. I crimp it down right here. The heat shrink wrap around it. And then I also put some electrical tape connecting the heat shrink to the actual wire. Overkill, but hey. Right, one extra step takes like a minute, so not a bad idea. So just doing some test fitment. You can see the lights I just put on probably in the last video or maybe two videos ago, we'll see. But just seeing how they look, you know, they're magnetic, so you kind of have a place them where you want, and you notice, let's see if I can get you to the side, they're pitched down, and that's exactly what I want, because these lights are to kind of go off the side right here when we're going down Forest Roads, things like that, late at night, and we can see off to the side, and then right here in the front is for in front of us, of course, as well as our, obviously, high beams, low beams, and our fog lights, but looks pretty good. And I ordered black and red ones, but I think the red ones are the best choice. And we'll use the black ones somewhere else. I'm thinking of adding two more lights down here, but we'll see, that'll be for a later adventure. Cause I still gotta get those rock lights on in there, but I just need this weather to hold out a little bit more. A little uh, intermission here, moon is outside getting brushed disturbing. look how much and you if anybody notices in our videos why well, we always have hair everywhere if you're wondering why <laughs> oh my goodness. all the time of course she's eating grass and make herself throw up now <laughs> but what i'm doing is trying to figure out where to route these uh wires through right now so right here we do have this flap right here i can just run it under um and i'm just hoping that it just stays in there we'll see so I'm trying to rush and get this done, uh, but I ran into a problem that I kind of thought I was going to. Uh, not really a problem. I get an extra wire right here, but I'll show you guys. So as you can see, I got positive and negative right there for one side, for that side. This side I already have 
tied in all secure but it's not gonna reach over to this light so I'm going to have to add in some extra wire there's our headlights pretty good headlights but I'm having Brittany turn these on now and those are bright whoo that is bright and now I'm gonna have Brittany put on our other light so look at that if we're if we're on the trails we are gonna be uh, lighting it up Wow <laughs> let me give you guys a view from this other side Come around to the side and that is how bright it is and you see these right here on the side ditch off so we'll see a good view of the side yeah that's pretty awesome about to leave already packing come with me i'm not really asking we'll get away to a place where we don't know about to see